Morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to the briefing for Wednesday the 13th. Uh, so today's synoptic showing uh, not too much going on over the top of us. We're sort of on this ridge of high pressure. Uh, the seclusion out to the east, which we're probably just seeing the lingering effects of now, uh, a little bit moist out there. Uh, but as we go throughout the day, it should dry up a little bit uh, and it should be reasonable into this afternoon. Going ahead to tomorrow, um, looks like there should be a good soaring window. Uh, this uh, front out to our west, uh, probably fairly static, uh, given the sort of transition from the cold front to the warm front here, showing it's just a waving. Uh, but we should have, be under this high pressure and hopefully should get a reasonable day out of it. Um, much the same on Friday, uh, but it all depends on the exact positioning of these fronts. It's a little bit uncertain. Uh, winds today a little bit all over the place um, towards the south coast, uh, sort of easterly, five knots, um, uh, towards the centre of the country, uh, a bit further around to the south. Um, but in general, we should have a, a easterly flow over the airfield. Uh, sat pick showing just these last little bits of cloud over the top of us, otherwise a fairly clear outlook for the majority of the country. Um, rain radar picking up a few little spots around. Uh, but looking at the forecast, we see as we go ahead uh, towards the afternoon, it is drying out a little bit, um, and we're very unlikely to catch any showers here. Okay, your public forecast is showing a fairly cloudy day with a few sunny intervals, uh, temperature up to 18 degrees, uh, with a fairly light wind trending from the east, um, and lighter as we go into the afternoon. Uh, GFS is showing may get 19 degrees today. Um, with dew points at around 9, so a reasonable split there. Uh, the weather station at Lasham isn't working today, so we'll go by Farnborough. <clears throat> um, yeah, they're reporting light wind from the north, varying between northwest and northeast. A uh, few clouds fairly low at 1,200 feet, uh, but their forecast is pretty good, it's about 2,500 feet. Okay, top meteo's potential flight distance for today has improved since I put it yesterday. Uh, showing it to be usable in the Lasham area and better to the north. Looking at thermals from 11 o'clock, uh, it's showing not a lot, maybe blue to 2,000 feet. If we go ahead a few hours, looks like it should be, it's still showing blue to 3,500, uh, continuing into the afternoon, uh, showing 1,400, 1,500 metres here, so near on 4,000. Um, and it looks like we should get cumulus, showing maybe blue to the north, but I expect there'll be cumulus. <laughs> okay, site forecast is showing uh, thermals up to about 2,000 feet from half 11, 12 o'clock, um, and roughly two knot thermals uh, into the afternoon. Looks like you're stopping by about four o'clock, though. Uh, wind today on top meteo is showing at ground level. We go 10 o'clock, it's six zero degrees, and then at flying height, uh, more nine zero. Uh, a little bit stronger, 10 to 15 knots. Uh, as we go into the afternoon, similar direction, trending from the east, uh, but fairly light. Okay, no terms, a little bit complicated today. So what I've done is together a slide to pick out the important ones. Uh, stand by. Okay, so uh, Kemble, there's some temporary airspace there with a five nautical mile radius. Uh, 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. up to 4,000 feet. There's other bits of airspace around, generally higher, um, for royal jets going to airways. So uh, if you are going that way, I'd advise you don't. Uh, but otherwise, have a good look. Um, it's, it's rather complicated. Uh, as well as that, we've got South Cerny and Abingdon parachuting all day. Uh, it gets a little bit more complicated tomorrow uh, with the similar stuff going on, but it's just uh, looking on air select. It's just a mess. Um, okay. Operationally today, we've got some movements, um, uh, no less than a Navajo uh, arriving at 11 a.m., uh, King Air departing for a test flight at half 12, coming back at 2, then potentially going out at 4 again. Uh, another King Air uh, on a test flight between 2 and half past 3, and then going back out at 4, uh, and a Navajo departing at 3.30. All of those will just uh, taxi around the launch point um, and land over the top of it. The only one that we'll need to particularly worry about is a Boeing 737 uh, arriving at 10 past five. Uh, okay, operationally, we'll set up on 09 with the usual setup. 
uh, the winch probably down there somewhere. Uh, I'm going to ask that people, when they're parking gliders, keep them all south of the centre line so we can leave space for all the light aircraft to taxi past, uh, with the one exception of the tug. But if we can keep the north half of the runway clear, uh, that will make everyone's life a lot easier, as there's quite a few of these small aircraft movements today. Uh, one last thing, there isn't an evening group tonight, so we will need to pack away the gliders uh, towards the end of the day. So if you have got a glider booked for the afternoon and you're done with it, please put it back in the hangar. Okay, see you all that there. Bye for now.